Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Place of Binding of Isaac after Birth. Plus, we got a nice little streak. You know what's going on here? We got the HOTUS plugged in. So if you give me a moment. Oh baby, that's tech support. That's tech support right there. Now we're good. 31 wins in a row. Keyboard appears to be working just fine. We got the glowing hourglass and Dr. Fetus. I gotta tell you, I don't I don't feel ergoed right here. WC0ADM8L. Okay, now I feel I feel more ergoed. Ergonomically set properly. Ready for a long day of recording. Some Isaac. This is just I'm not upset. The run, I mean, it's a great start for hurting power. There's no doubt about that. HP is not really that bad. Um, and we have the means to get some money. And that money um, will allow us to hopefully buy some spirit arts. The spirit arts will allow us to yada yada yada. Um, it's it's good. St the spirit arts will allow us to not die. That's that's not a yada yada yada. But you get the idea. But first, we do need to make it. It's one of those runs where like right at the start, and this is common. It's not like this is a rarity. It's one of those runs where we would expect the start of the run to be as spicy as it could be, and the end of the run maybe a little bit on the on the simpler side. Uh, I think we fight the boss first. Then we go fight this boss. Then maybe go to the shop. We only have one key, so we gotta be a little careful. But all we need from the shop is like a single spirit heart and we're in a great spot. We actually probably don't even need that now, but protecting our interest with the deal with the devil is still a, a, a sensible approach. Maybe an eternal heart here. Okay, it's not an eternal heart, but in its own weird way, it actually... <laughs> we were so close to taking a hit there. In its own weird way, might be even better, considering the amount of money we're getting here, and then, you know, what that money means for us when we get to the shop. We do have Steam Sale as well, so... I mean, and I'll level with you, Cherry, it is like exactly what we want to, if we get an arcade on the next floor, so... I mean, you, you really can't ask for a better start than this, especially, uh... You know, we've, we've had Mom's Knife so much lately. It's not really a surprise, obviously, but... I think we will take a Spirit Heart. Now, there is a play, like, we could get Converter, reroll, buy more Spirit Hearts, and keep converting them, like, on the cheap. I, I think I'd rather have some potential items early. Like, I, I think Treasure Map is a little bit better. Um, for me personally, let's see if this guy has anything. He does. We could buy this. Oh, we got a luck upgrade. We could buy that, which we did not need, but now we know. Um, and then... Pandora's box... Is bombs and keys, but we could save it for a couple of floors, but I think glowing hourglass is actually, like, pretty good. Trinket smelter, not interesting enough, obviously. The Bible, not interesting enough here. We can afford to be choosy, so we get tarot cloth. Tarot cloth gives us a world card. I think we'd rather have chariot for now. But this is a, a, a really, really, really great start, for sure. I also like... <clears throat> there's multiple ways you could have played this run. You know, you could have gone for that converter play. Which, admittedly, we may never use Glowing Hourglass. So it's possible that the that the converter was actually the... You're, you, I just saw him. He was, he was moving in on my territory, so we it had to be done. So it's possible that converter play... Okay, fine was better than I'm giving it credit for, I'll admit. Spiders are like our worst enemy right now. If we could find ourselves not in the company of spiders, we would be, uh, we would be pleased. We really do better, like, against bosses than we do against spiders right now, but... No rush. No rush whatsoever. Just gotta make sure whenever... And we do have 99 bombs as well, so we can place... Ooh, uh, we can place down... Uh, our own bombs. And I say this not as a reminder for you, but as a reminder more so for me. Just remember, you don't always have to shoot... Look at this shot. Look at that little trick shot right there. You don't always have to shoot the bomb. You got 99, you know, normal ones you could use as well. Not a secret room. Modestly surprising. You know what? You, you froze me. I can't even be mad. That was, that was just the, the perfect possible situation for you to get me. If anything, I'm impressed. 
That's not the way we should handle that. That's the way we should handle that. Although, a little surprised it's not the secret room. I, in all honesty, like, this run should be, you know, pretty much set in stone already. Don't really want that either. Um, but we, we gotta be just the slightest bit careful. Because with, with Dr. Fetus, enemies can kind of sneak up on you. You know, you, you just want to remember, this is one of those situations you want to be, you know, Mark Antony coming home after, uh, you know, he's having his triumph, you know, and you got people whispering in his ear, you are not immortal, you are not immortal. We have really, really good power right now, but HP, the only danger here, really, is that HP can slip away from you. Just a bit, just a bit. Nothing to get bent out of shape with, but just a bit. So I'm still trying to, cause, cause, what's the difference between glowing hourglass and uh, and the D7? That's still where I get twisted up sometimes. I do know one difference: glowing hourglass becomes the regular hourglass after a time. We have enough money. I would honestly pick this up just as a, a hedge for the future. It is good. I don't, I don't really want Nun's Habit here. I know that sounds bizarre. Um, I definitely do want more options. I think that's that's going to be extremely great for us. Like glowing, I, I thought the only reason to use Glowing Hourglass was to reverse the damage in a room where you got hit. But I, I think I'm getting it confused with the D7. And that in and of itself has me somewhat confused because I'm like they wouldn't put two items in the game to do the same thing right and then I remember what game I'm playing and I'm like no that sounds about right we'll see we'll see for now the good news is you know this is the first run of anything of the day it's the first Isaac run it's the first video I'm, I'm mostly just trying to set a tone you know I'm not trying to play the, the best Isaac that's ever been played. We leave that over to uh, Sinvicta. <laughs> that's that's Sinvicta's uh, purview. My purview is like, this is the Isaac podcast. We don't talk about Isaac. But you know, Fight Club is about Fight Club, but you're still not allowed to talk about Fight Club, so what's the difference? Here, it's a tough one, because I actually think that all three of these items could be great, but I'm just going to take Succubus. I, I am. Uh, and we'll we'll take this because I, I I think that can be in conception if we get a uh, yeah blood bank would would be amazing but there is an inherent risk associated as well I think that we're uh, and the risk is just you know being lower on HP than we'd like to be so uh, I I think that we're we're doing the right thing in my opinion at least now there's no reason to have the map. If we're not gonna abuse the map a little bit, you know, we definitely are in a position we can speed this one up. But anyway, I, I mean, it, it, that's Isaac. You, need, you really need me to talk about Isaac on this one? My expectation is the answer to that question is probably not, <laughs> or probably no. An answer can't be not. In a general sense, look, we don't need to get into an English language tirade here. I apologize. It is, it's, uh, it's built in for me to be mad at the English language a little bit, even though it's a language in which I, uh, the only language in which I speak. That's because I, I, you know, it's designed... Well, I don't know anything about the actual creation of the English language, so maybe I'll stop short of saying it was not designed, it, it simply happened to, it was, it was like... You know, when you got a crack in your wall? You know what? I think I think we're just gonna do the thing that seems most sensible here and, and take an item I actually understand. <laughs> and it, you're like, oh, I could get the drywall, like the, the plaster, I should say, and then plaster over it, wait for it to dry, and then paint it. Or I could just kind of like hang a poster there. And then, you know, when you take the poster down, you're like, uh, oh, careful. You're like, all oh, right. There's still that crack in the wall. You know, it's like you—you you didn't actually. I think we're fine here. You didn't actually create uh, any solution to the problem. You just sort of, you know, you built special cases as time went on. I don't know if that's actually something that applies to the English language because I'm not familiar with its creation. That's why I find the the Korean language so. Uh... Interesting and and actually like I find myself admirant of it To the best of my knowledge, which is low, but uh, you know general 
Uh, I, I believe that the language was just kind of like actively designed. Which to me seems like a great idea. Um, why didn't we think of that? You know what I mean? It's like someone went... Let's, let's make a system for us to communicate. And as a result, I'm sure that when they were in the court, there were sorts of, you know, questions. Hey, what about this case? What about this case? And they got it mostly sorted out. As a result, you got a language where you can, you know, learn the alphabet and how to pronounce the letters in like 20 minutes. Now, I've been speaking English for, I don't know, 30 years? More or less? I don't think we want it, actually. And I still, uh... And I'm, I'm skipping experimental treatment as well. I, you know why? If, if we're at cruising altitude, I'm not gonna bust the flaps out for no reason. Anyway, long story short. Oh yeah, if you like the Korean language so much, why don't you learn it? Well, because it's hard, dude. If you like money so much, why don't you just become a billionaire? It's not that hard. Like, a hundred people have done it in history. Okay. That's, uh, you're, okay. Truth be told, that is a logical, not a logical fallacy, but at least, uh, it's a little extreme. It's probably harder, or at least rarer, to, uh, see a billionaire than somebody who's learned Korean as a second language. I'll give you that one. That, <laughs> that one's fair. So this is where I wanted KMB in Conception. I know we had at least, um, four plays in us. I think we actually have five plays in us. Um, because of our three red hearts. We might have four now, too, because we just picked it. Okay, but we got two more here. Any payout is good, so we can just get a reroll out of it. But that is what it is. All right. We should get the pill. How am I doing? I'm doing well. Today is, uh, Friday. Cheers. Gotta get down on my day. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend. Weekend. Um. Basically, like... You know what, let's let's quintuple up on 19 and then see what we got here. Sure, wh why not? You know what, let's use that right away. Just to see what we can get. Um, I think th this should work, right? We should get uh, number two bombs. Yeah, okay, th so th that's actually pretty nice. And it, it, it solves or, or at least uh, ameliorates... Is that the word I'm looking for? I feel like I've gone through that exact line of reasoning with the word ameliorate before. But having basic damage... Uh, in an AoE context with every explosion, is going to do a great job of helping us uh, to solve our principal problem on a Dr. Fetus run, which is enemies that are fast but tend not to be tanky are going to be hard to deal with. Now they are not, so that's good news. <clears throat> but yeah, like uh, here's where we're at in terms of anecdotes, okay? Um, my cat woke me up at like 7 a.m., so I have a small headache, but nothing really very serious. That's that's it. That's what I got right now. That's where I'm at. That and, uh, you know, Kate and I, we've been watching The Haunting of Hill House. Very effective, uh, spooky show. But I, I don't have much to say about it because we're, you know, we got a lot more couch time uh, these days as we, you know, kind of wind down the late night work machine. So we're, we're, for the first time in my life, we're chunking through these shows like faster than I can actually get anecdotes out there. Like, we're, we're cruising through them at a, at a breakneck pace. I don't know if this is actually any better, but I thought it was worth the roll regardless. Like, we don't need a tears upgrade right now. <clears throat> I do wonder what kind of, what kind of situation we're gonna be in with cats and baby. You know what I mean? Cause like, right now, I sleep very well. Like, if it's up to me, I sleep very well. When I'm the master of my own domain, from a sleep standpoint, I crush it. When I get interrupted, I accept it, you know? Because you can, you, you know, Lord grant me the strength to, uh, you know, control the things I can control, to accept the ones I can, and the wisdom to know which is which, right? Can't control whether or not the cat's making a little bit of noise at 7 a.m. Could you train it out of them? I don't know. I feel like you could train it out of a dog. But cats are kind of like training resistant, right? <laughs> They're like your calves. You know, when you're working out, you really gotta hit them. Are we on? It's depths one. Okay. So my take for right now, that's definitely reroll city. 
My take for right now is I think I'm going to just bust myself out of this room. Although, to be honest, with Succubus and AoE, most of these enemies are probably... Like, this might be our last wave. I can't even remember. It is. All right. That, that was easy enough then. Um, Book of Revelations, always nice to, you know, get ourselves an orbital at least. Oh, yeah, just blow yourself up for no reason. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like, I'm, I'm curious about how Cat Plus Baby is going to work. So here's how it works in my head. I am not naive enough to assume that our baby will not cry. That's just, um, I mean, if it happens, beautiful, but I think ex expecting it is kind of idiotic, right? That's like, you know, I got a really good feeling we're going to win the lottery this weekend, you know? That, that would be something considering, uh, you know, I don't play it. What do you got here? Perks? No thank you. No thank you. Give me uh you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna break convention here. I'm gonna take this Joker uh, card and use it immediately so we can then use the Hermit card immediately. This is not the way we should be running things, especially because a reroll there. Well, we'll have a reroll maybe if we get back there anyway. But I do want a hermit card right away. And uh you you might be like, NL, why not save the opportunity, you know, with that hermit card? Well, okay, there there's an answer, I suppose. But you know, don't you want to get out of boss rush? I'm gonna level with you. We're on that kind of run right now where like it it doesn't matter at all. We're we're gonna easily cruise on this one. But anyway, the way I, I hope it will work in the best possible reasonable case scenario is that the baby crying will keep the cats awake. As a result of keeping the cats awake, when the baby is quiet, which is when we will sleep as well, the cats will sleep soundly, rather than being like, I've already slept 23 hours today. We need a reroll here. Um, and then, you know, the cats and my wife and myself will be allied. I don't want to say against the baby, because I think that could be taken out of context, but in, ter in sleep terms, you know, our, our sleep routine to some extent will be dictated or at least heavily influenced by it when our child sleeps soundly right what i hope does not happen because i you know I lose my mind a little bit is like we finally the baby is quiet and then all of a sudden ruka's like this is the 10 minutes every night where i freak out and just scratch up the hardwood that's that's where we're gonna have a problem <laughs> oh my god oh my god oh my god okay Get me out of here. But, you know, it's a limited period of time. It's not, uh, you know, it's like David after the dentist. It's not real life. You know, you know David after the dentist? It's, it's a viral video. It, you know, from maybe like 2009. I.E. ancient. I'm trying to think, dude, uh, so the kid from David After the Dentist, when you're famous for like a viral vi- Well, when you're famous for anything, you're kind of, uh, I don't want to say trapped, but like in the public's eye, you're like that age forever, right? Like when I think of, uh, excuse me. We don't have a, hey, excuse me. When I think of like an actor, I always, you know, you I think you tend to think of them at- the age and appearance of what they were when they were in their, you know, the, the role with which you associate them with. Like, I think a really good example is, you know, if you see marketing material for uh, the second Dumb and Dumber movie, which came out almost 30 years after the first one. Um, well, more like 20 years, I guess. But, um, you know, when you associate Jim Carrey with uh, Lloyd Christmas, and then you see him... You know, in the sequel, you're like, man, he's gotten older. And not even in a bad way, like, you know, I got... I got respect and some disrespect for Jim Carrey based on, you know, the way he... ...carries himself and his, his opinions and etc, etc. Um, but, you know, he's, he's an individual, he's entitled to... ...you know, express himself, you know? But, uh... I mean, I just wish he would look at the science first, but... ...regardless... You know, it's, I'm not saying that uh, Jim Carrey aged badly. If anything, I think he actually aged pretty gracefully. You know, most people in their 20s... In their 20s, there's a fairly low variation. But by the time someone gets to, like, their 50s, you can be like, okay. <laughs> the, you, you, you have treated yourself somewhat uh, Im improperly over the course of this time. But, you know, maybe you had fun. But that, I, I was just thinking now, I'm like, the kid from Charlie bit my finger. The kid from David after the dentist. I mean, David after the dentist 
was probably like nine when that video was made. And that was 11 years ago, so that kid is like straight up getting hammered in the dorms right now, huh? That's wild. <laughs> it's the circle of life. I was thinking about that the other day, and not in a melancholy way, just sort of in a, huh, that's interesting sort of way. Um, but, you know, like, I, I remember in high school, like, our math teacher took paternity leave, um, because, you know, he was having, I think, his second kid. And I was like, I wonder how old that kid would be now, maybe like, you know, eight or nine years old? That's crazy to think that it went from being like a, you know, a apple in his eye to all of a sudden being like, uh, you know, a fully functional human being. Then I realized, no, wait, you're 31 years old. This was 16 years ago. That kid's out there on the road right now. That kid's driving. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, dude, that's crazy. People get older. What a revelation. So we will, I mean, we'll use Pandora's box and hopefully there's some luck upgrades in here. I mean, we have infinite money. More or less, so... We really don't want car battery. I guess we want diplopia. And then you want to diplopia a bunch of... Actually, I think this is how we want to do it. I think you want to diplopia... As many active items as possible. Now, that's not an active item. But this way you get a fat reroll in here. We're very happy with sack of sacks. And we're very happy with starter deck we are very unhappy with the other two items but I'll t okay this is better than boss rush i'm not afraid to admit it so you know we got sad onion which is not really relevant with this run but is you know in principle is good anyway i feel at least nice that we're doing the little things right i actually don't think we need um the blanket at all because we already have holy mantle blank card on the other hand yeah, I actually think we do want blank card. Uh, and, and the main reason... Go ahead. For that is... Uh, I mean, this is a run, let's be honest. The, the D6 is... Uh, this is the right way, maybe. Um, the D6 is not relevant anymore. Not to be rude, but like... Like, genuinely, we just don't need it. We, we have a run that is already more powerful than, like, at least 75% of the runs we have at this point. It's, it's really got everything going for it. I'm surprised it's a little on the slow side, but I guess bombs do tend to, in general, be slower than... Uh, why not? Bombs tend to be slower than tears to begin with. We don't need Empress. We're not going to use Empress. You might as well take a second teleport card. They're, they're slower than tears, I mean. The tears, when they hit, they kill. Bombs always have a time to explode. There are probably some situations where bombs are faster. And we know that because we run into them constantly. But, okay, okay, here we go. Oh my god. Go fast. If anything, I'm really actually glad we took... Uh, we took Spider Baby instead of Skinny Odd Mushroom. But Skinny Odd Mushroom, I didn't think about it at the time. I just thought, like, oh, our damage... our, our Fire rate is not that relevant. Um, but in, in reality, I think we're super stoked that we didn't take um, Skinny Odd Mushroom because it would make Succubus worse. I think we definitely do want... I mean, we have infinite HP. I know you're like, Wait, what, do you, what don't you have? Infinite money, infinite HP. Apparently, you got infinite everything. But, like, we really don't have a reason to be concerned about our HP whatsoever. We're, we're, we're in the clear here. And every run, you know, is, is nice at this point. When you just... Uh, there you go, that's what we're looking for. You know, every, every run when you get one step closer to, uh... You know, getting that streak where you want it to be. We still got a long, long way until things get, uh... You know, oh my god, it's the Emperor card. We got a long way until I'm gonna be, like, insanely impressed with myself, right? So I think earlier in 2020, what was that streak we had? It was in, like, the 60s, maybe? I told you, what did I say last episode? Like, this feels like... This feels to me like one that could be, uh... 
you know, genuinely one of the better streaks we've ever, maybe maybe the best streak we've ever had, maybe triple digits. We're like 40% of the way there at most. I guess we're like 37% of the, 33% of the way there. I don't know why I'm making the math so, you know, fuzzy. It's out of 100. It's the easiest, uh, <laughs> it's the easiest mental arithmetic for percentages that you could do. Anyway. It helps when you start with Dr. Fetus, that's for sure. Although I will say Dr. Fetus 2 HP, I'm smiling, right? Dr. Fetus 1 HP on an Eden start, you're like, this is my worst nightmare. This is the worst. But we are... I mean, this run is about 45 seconds from Mars, which, by which I mean 45 seconds away from being completed. You think Jared... I, uh, the answer to this question cannot be Nicolas Cage. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start with that, okay? You think Jared Leto is the actor with the highest highs and the lowest lows? I mean, I, I it, it's hard to not like Jared Leto, and it's also hard to like him. <clears throat> and I don't mean that to be rude. Do you, do you under, I'm not going to take this, by the way, because I don't want to lose Succubus. Not that it's likely to be relevant, but... Um, do, you, do you get what I mean when I say that? I know it sounds like maybe I'm... I'm not... Like, here's the thing. Why why is he hard to dislike? Um, well, he's been in a lot of really good movies, you know? And and he gives his all one way or the other. You know, I, he's he's in uh, Fight Club. Admittedly, it's kind of a minor role, but he, he does well in it. He's in American Psycho. He, he's perfect for that role, I think. Um, he's in my so-called life as the bad boy Jordan Catalano, and he, he's, you know, very good in that as well. And I, 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 you know, he's in Blade Runner 2049, and sometimes I've heard people be like, you know, oh, he's, uh, the worst part of that movie. I'm like, I don't think so. I think he's great at playing kind of like a handsome weirdo. I think, I think that's his, uh, <laughs> he, he does a good job of it. But why is he hard to like? Well, because he's in a band that I don't really like, and also is like, Seems like there's almost like a cult built up around him and stuff like that. He's a very, he's a complicated man as far as celebrity goes, you know? I never know how to feel about Jared Leto. He's also hard to like because he, you know, was the worst Joker. And also, uh, I mean, along with the damage tattoo, which may not be his fault. It wasn't there, and I, I don't know if this is verifiable, but didn't he like m mail like animal carcasses to his co-workers as a method actor. Just a kind of a kind of a, an enigma to me, you know, Jared Leto. Like when I hear that Jared Leto's in a in a movie, some other actors and actresses I go, okay, that gives me a feeling of how this movie is gonna be. When I hear Jared Leto's gonna be in it, I'm like, oh boy, here we go. This is either gonna be a nine or a ninety-nine on Rotten Tomatoes. Anyway, easy win. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See you.